Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all of you beautiful Kingdom Hearts fans around the world, we are checking out something very special in today's video. Something that I want to learn more about. Something that I think a lot of you, both Final Fantasy fans and Kingdom Hearts fans, or just Nomura fans in general, have been so fascinated about. We're going to be checking out Final Fantasy vs. 13. Every single trailer that had been released. This is a unreleased title that never got to see the light of day. Something that Nomura worked so hard on that it ended up being what we know as Final Fantasy XV today. The finalized product just became Final Fantasy XV against what Nomura originally had planned. Now, I want to learn about this a lot more, so please, whatever knowledge you have about this particular project that never actually got released, can you comment down below? what you know because I know you guys are super knowledgeable with this stuff and I want to consume as much information and lore if you will about this particular video game. This is something that had me super fascinated ever since I finished my Kingdom Hearts journey. Especially when we got that secret cutscene at the end where it just resonated with Final Fantasy 15 and Noctis and I always thought that Yozora looked a lot like Noctis. And this is just something that I, I said to myself. It's like, okay, this character looks a whole lot like Noctis for some reason. There's obviously been, like, inspiration or something pulled out somewhere. Little did I knew Nomura was actually responsible for the character design in the first place of Noctis. And that's why Yozora ended up being a character in Kingdom Hearts. Because Nomura wanted to continue with this idea and this vision that he had. And why not bring it into one of his beloved franchises, which of course is Kingdom Hearts. So... This is very exciting and so interesting. So in today's video, we're going to be reacting to so many trailers for Final Fantasy vs. 13. If you guys are excited to see this and you haven't seen any of these trailers and this gets you really, really hyped, please leave a like on this video. And most importantly, I know a lot of you watching have not subscribed to the channel. So do me a solid and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well because there's a lot more amazing content, you know, regarding this and Kingdom Hearts and stuff in the very near future. So make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Anyway, that being said, lads, let's go check out all of these trailers. I'm so excited to see this. I love stuff like this. Things that never actually got to see the light of day. Something that's so, like, incredibly detailed and fascinating. We're going to see all the trailers for that right now. So I want to say a shout out to 13th Vessel, who is responsible for uploading this uh, video. All the trailers with a kind of a HD remaster using techniques to make the visuals look more improved and less pixelated. Because let's face it, the trailers that have released, they don't look too great nowadays. So it's nice to have some sort of remaster of some kind of these trailers. So here it is, lads. Every single Final Fantasy vs. 13 trailer. This is going to be exciting. Let's get into it. From the staff of Kingdom Hearts and the Final Fantasy Advent Children. Okay, so it's the same people that worked on Advent Children, which I'm a huge fan of. There is nothing either good or bad. Definite Kingdom Hearts vi vibes from this, but thinking makes it so. There is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. William Shakespeare, okay. So there's our character. What I want to know is, was the character's name always going to be Noctis? An isolated nation protected by an ancient line of kings, a modern, modern civilization alive with the crystal songs of swords and sorcery. So I wonder if Yozora is a king or a prince of some kind, a lone kingdom fighting to forestall the other world from imposing its heretic order. The struggle for the final crystal is merely a prologue to the chronicles of a new era. This is so exciting. Uh, why are the soldiers there? Are they there to overthrow him or something? Jeez, their aim is as good as a stormtrooper. Wow. Dude! No red, red eyes! Because Yuzora has red and blue. That gave me chills, dude. <laughs> this is so exciting. I love it. Bro. For PlayStation 3? Oh my god. 
I want, I am, I'm very curious if Nomura actually has some sort of beta of this game. This is a fantasy based on reality. Here's another trailer now. Oh! Look at that, dude! The exact same pose and everything from the Kingdom Hearts 3 secret trailer or secret episode or secret freaking cutscene, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I love this. This this looks so much better as well. He just break his neck. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! Incredible. Oh my god, dude. Tetsuya Nomura. An absolute legend with a crazy imagination. That was my favorite trailer so far. A lot of bits taken from the other trailer as well, but extra stuff. For PlayStation 3, man. PlayStation 3. This is a fantasy based on reality. Why, why do you keep saying that? This is a fantasy based on reality. Look. The true figure is still hidden in the, in the sleep. In, what? Bro, this is blowing my mind. There is so many references in the Kingdom Hearts secret cutscenes to this. Who is that girl? Final Fantasy series slash Kingdom Hearts series. Who's the girl? Oh, is it a love interest? It's so similar to the character in Final Fantasy 15, isn't it? Okay. Is that the regalia? What the hell? That's not the regalia. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What is this now? Is this still Final Fantasy versus 13? I wonder. We're gonna see Luxord? <laughs> Organization 13! No! Oh my god, dude! What the freak? This is blowing my mind! Okay, hang on a minute now. Okay, we'll see. Alright, okay. I'm assuming... Is this still for versus 13 now? Because they've changed the whole overall look of like the text and everything. They changed the color. It fits the color scheme of 15 now. And these are characters from 15. And I've completely forgotten their names because I haven't played the game in so long. Look at that, man. <laughs> The squad. Whoa, okay. So pretty. He's got his big boy shoes on. See, I feel like we're entering the realms of Final Fantasy 15 now. It's still versus 13, though. Wow. There is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. William Shakespeare. The way he's posed on the throne, there is official artwork of Sora in that position. So there, there is so, there's so much that he wants to bring back from this. So much. Whoa. It's getting a little bit more vibrant now with the colors. It always like a little trailer. Loves that quote. For, some, for a second there, I thought I was going to hear Dearly Beloved. I was like, no way. <laughs> okay, the visuals are getting more crisp now. Bit of a Romeo and Juliet scene here. This makes me want to replay Final Fantasy XV so bad now. I had a good time with that game. Just, I expected more from it. No dialogue. Okay, so they're having a conversation here, but it is subtitled, so just I just can't read that. Now, the more and more I see this character, the more he he looks so different to Yozora. There's the similarities, yes, but still very different now. Damn it, I wish I knew what they were saying! That music is so incredible. Final Fantasy Versus. Did they keep the logo? Hang on a minute. You see, I do have the Final Fantasy 15 Collector's Editions. These are the steel books that came with the Collector's Editions. So, I wonder if they actually kept the logo. That's the soundtrack. I have the official soundtrack. I think that actually comes with the Brotherhood anime as well. It does. 
Okay. See, look inside. You have the official soundtrack and you have the Brotherhood anime, which I've seen as well. Uh, this has Kingslave. Oh, they did keep the logo. See, the logo is still the same. Final Fantasy 15, except... Hmm. And that's the Kingslave. Uh, it's like a little movie, I think. That's, that's interesting. They kept the logo the same. But it was Final Fantasy Versus 13. Interesting. For PlayStation 3 only worldwide. Not anymore. Ended up coming out on the PlayStation 4. The more and more the trailers go on, the more and more it feels like Final Fantasy 15. So we're getting a bit of a combat reel here and an open world section as well. Fabula Nova Crystallis. 2011. Wow, the same year Skyrim came out. Oh. Okay, N Noctis. <gasps> Look! Bro! It's a- Oh! Luxord? Oh, that's not Luxord. It's a different timeline. It's a different timeline, lads. <laughs> now, it's the regalia that he's in now, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the regalia. Maybe I'm wrong. Dude. A meeting predestined by the divine. So as as it progressed, his character design seemed to have changed. Like, little bits at a time. I can't remember any of the characters from 15. It's been so many years since I've played it. I don't even know if that is the character from 15. An act of love by the last king. Oh! Okay. What is happening? Is, is this first person view Spider-Man? What is this? Okay. Gameplay. Whoa! So I'm assuming we're still in the versus 13. Oh, look! Ah, yeah, the names! Ignis and Gladius! Ah, that's a very different UI, though. You know what's the interesting thing about this is, right? When these trailers were released, I'm pretty sure I've seen them. <laughs> that's the thing. But I have no recollection of it, because it's so long ago. Because I've always been a Final Fantasy fan. Granted, I've never played all the games or anything like that. I've played, I've played the ones that I enjoyed. I think everybody kind of has a similar relationship with Final Fantasy. I remember the, the marketing campaign for this. I was very excited about so I'm pretty sure I've seen these trailers. We're in the woods now. Isn't that guy like the king? Or Noctis' dad, maybe. Yeah, I was, oh, I was so hyped to see the open world in this game. I think I, I enjoyed it for what it was, I think. I need to go back and play it. Oh, whoa, I don't remember being able to get into one of those. Who's this now? What the fuck? Whoa, look at the visuals now. PlayStation 3, me bollocks. The figure that still lies asleep in the fantasy. The, the whole being asleep thing is like, oh my god, I get chills when I see that. Because, like, they, they touched on everything feeling like a dream in Kingdom Hearts 3, Remind, uh, towards the end. It's just, oh my god. Like a shattered dream or a distant memory. Ah, oh, it's so exciting, bro! <laughs> There's one thing that I really want from Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy- <laughs> God, even I'm mixing the two up now. There is one thing that I really want to see from Kingdom Hearts 4. It's not just the Disney worlds and stuff, although I'm very excited for that and what they can do with that. But I would really love to see Sora in the worlds of Final Fantasy. Like, could you just imagine Sora walking around Midgar and, like, doing a mission with Barret or something? Or Tifa? Like, I think that would be peak video game fantasy for me. That would be it. Like, I, I would love that, dude. I know that's probably not going to happen, but... Uh... Who's that? Bro, bro! Do you not remember the... The re the Verum Rex cutscenes with Kingdom Hearts? There's a guy with similar hair and a hat just like that. Just like... Holy shit. What? Okay, the UI is looking more and more like Final Fantasy XV now. Oh, 
What, the one major issue I had with Final Fantasy 15, I think, was the summons in the game. Oh, that frame rate is dropping like shocking. The summons in the game, I think, were random. I'm pretty sure. They only came if you absolutely needed them. I think. But I remember the summons being pretty insane. Oh, did I see red and blue eyes there? Oh, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, look, bro. Okay, he's got two blue eyes there. Look, red. Bro, oh, bro, no way, dude. Look, sword. Looks a lot like him. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> I feel, I feel like, I feel like all ye now. I'm making all the connections. Yeah. Oh, and boom, there it is. Final Fantasy Versus 13 had just morphed into Final Fantasy 15. That was the official change. Oh, a world of the Versus epic. So that's when it changed. And Nomura has held on to the salty taste in his mouth since. Yeah, now we're getting into full-blown Final Fantasy 15 territory. So then, is this technically the first Final Fantasy 15 trailer? Because I remember this trailer very well. Ignis's outfit has completely changed as well. Like this is uh, essentially just showing the, the finalized combat. I do like the UI, I think it's very clean. Oh, that's sick. Oh, Gladios to tank. Dude. The hype this trailer gave. Holy shit. Yeah, I remember watching those. That was way before I even made content, I'm pretty sure. World of the Versus. Epic. Final Fantasy thir Versus 13 never became Final Fantasy 15. Versus was a completely different game. All its original ideas and concepts were scrapped to create a different story, another vision, but not what we were promised. Ah, I see. So it essentially just, be it didn't become it. It was just, wow, Tetsuya Nomura deserves to tell his story. Hashtag restore Versus 13. I'm going to tweet this video out. And I'm going to use that hashtag. Thank you, 13 Vessel. This was amazing. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. That's a game changer. There is something that I want to look up. This is going to get interesting for you guys as well. Oh my god. I actually done an unboxing of Final Fantasy. Dude, this is... Look what just came in the mail, dude. Oh my god. It's... This, this is going well. Six years ago, lads. And only 296 views. Do DB Geek of the Past a favor. Go and watch this video. Spam the like and all that. So <laughs> I got this directly from Square Enix. And I was so excited. Yeah, look. I, I still have I still have that collector's edition in my office. Right, It's literally right there. I, it, there's loads of stuff on it, so I can't. But I still have this collector's edition, and it's still... Like, look at the box. The box is so nice. Oh. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I have that. I literally just showed you guys that. And then there's the Noctis figurine okay. from Play Arts. Still have that too. And then I do a, I do a little showcase of it. Look! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this is nostalgic, isn't it? Look. My camera skills, look at them. Oh, I was so proud to own that, dude. Very, very proud. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I remember playing... Look, <laughs> this was my thumbnail game. I remember playing Final Fantasy XV. Uh, the demo. I'm going to move myself over here. Because past DB is... Uh, is uh, in the way. Flip. Yeah. What is that? My old Holy commentary. What up, big geeks and dudes and dudettes? My name is DB Geek. And look at my border. <laughs> I thought that was shit cool. Right, so this is the demo. I played this demo because I was very excited. But there is... There's stuff that I remember from this that just kind of popped into my mind now. Yeah, the bit where you're small. What? Oh, why am I in your water bowl? See, this gives me... Where am I supposed to go next? Why are you so huge? Kingdom why Hearts am I so little? Remember when you were as small as a mouse in, um, uh, what was it? The Cinderella world? I think you like these. Try in Birth by one. Sleep? Or in the toy box where you're small? This gives oh, me timer. those... Ah! Those those Kingdom Hearts vibes from those worlds. Or where you're small, look. A, See, look, there's the toys and everything. Look, you can look actually drive the cars. I can't get up there. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this. Return to Noctis. Alright! See, that's right, very so King, Kingdom Hearts-esque, no? But yeah, I played the I was very hyped for this. Huh? Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Oh, okay, that's cool. That that's sick. Wow, dude, this was an experience and a half. We even went down memory lane for this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope this was exciting, especially if you've never really decided to delve into this side of Tetsuya Nomura's work. The Final Fantasy Versus 13 stuff is definitely something that got me so curious ever since a lot of you had told me the connections between Yozora in Kingdom Hearts to this particular unreleased title um definitely definitely spam hashtag restore versus 13 in the comment section and on my tweet on twitter so make sure you follow me on twitter at dbgeek26 i'm going to tweet about this and uh if we if if tetsuya nomura decided to re release this game actually work on it and even connect it to the world of kingdom hearts that would be fucking insane. We need to see that happen. Maybe like a side title toward, uh, along the side of Kingdom Hearts that tells Yuzora's story and the world of Quant Quantumatum. Uh, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Still getting my head around all that stuff. But that would be super interesting and I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Where Tetsuya Nomura is going to, you know, uh, go with this idea and this vision that he had so many years ago. It's, it's so fascinating and I want to see more of it. Anyway, boys and girls, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button like you never smashed the like button before. Subscribe to the channel like I mentioned at the start of this video. And comment down below what you thought about this. And of course, hashtag restore versus 13. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy or whatever video. <laughs> see you later, dudes.